stove. Over here. It's in the kitchen. No, I mean my stove. I, I think I left it on. It's okay. I uh, checked it as we were leaving. Are you sure? Did you turn the knob? Yeah. The little knob, though. I turned all the knobs. The stove was off, Adrian. Excuse me, sir. We believe it was a burglary gone sour. She walked in, she surprised him, he panicked. He no. grabbed a knife from the kitchen. He... No. No, no. No, no. This, this, this was no burglary. It wasn't. He tried to make it look like one, but this guy was cold as ice. He wore slippers to avoid leaving shoe prints. Not something your neighborhood crackhead is prone to do. Adrian. Adrian. He was in here. He was waiting. Waiting for what? You know, for her. He was here at least an hour. He was smoking. You could still smell it on the curtains. Menthols, Salem's. Possibly Newport's. Maybe she was the smoker. No, no. She was a Dutch Calvinist. They don't smoke. They, they considered their bodies to be a holy, a holy chalice of, uh, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble concentrating because I think I smell gas. Did you hear the click? Because you gotta hear the click, not just feel the click. Hear it. Anyway, uh, after he killed Miss, uh, Nicole Vasquez, 25. Yeah, Miss Vasquez. He, he, he hung around. He was, uh, looking for something. You're looking for what? I don't know. He checked something on her computer. He could have erased a file. Anything else? Yes, he's tall. It's 6'3", uh, six, maybe 6'4". Six, what about the, what about the pile of light? Because, you know, pilot light is sometimes fine. it goes out. Do you it's remember fine. the last time it almost went out? Do you want me to drive all the way back to the city and check the stove? No. I mean, is that what you're telling me to do? No, no, no. Would you? Could you? Um, that would be great. Oh, ex excuse me, gentlemen, just one second, okay? Just... Who is she? This is nurse. Forget about the damn stove, okay? You were on a job here with your private consultant. I know. Okay? I smell it. And that's a good thing. You gotta shut up. The department thinks you're nuts. You're never gonna get reinstated. You're never gonna get hired again. And you're both gonna be unemployed. Do you understand the importance of what I am saying? Now, pull your twist itself together. Concentrate. You're brilliant. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm sure that you're right, but how do you know all of that? I mean, about the computer. It's and... patently obvious, isn't it? There are no prints on the keyboard, not even hers. Why he used it, he wiped them clean. Right. And you said that he was tall. Well, the victim's short, maybe 5'4". Look at the chair. It's lowered almost all the way. Wow. We've been here all morning, and nobody even noticed that. Well. Sir, if you can stick around for a bit, the coroner's on his way. We should have a... No, no, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I I'm pretty sure I smell gas. Gentlemen, you know where to find us. Just call. So that's the famous Adrian Monk? Yeah, the living legend. Just call that living. Sharona! Oh, Aunt Mary! Oh. Look at you! We're losing him. How was your flight? See that guy over there? We need to go. Kill his wife and poison the guy in the plane. Sharona. Adrian thinks he's refrigerated cords. We have tickets to the music man. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Excuse me. Monk here. Monk, we found something. It, it might be the body. We'll know for sure in 20 minutes. No. We're too late. This sure needs 20 minutes. They're already on the plane. Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Flight 17. Oh, Do not stop to Paris. Lieutenant? Lieutenant, do you think you can find a duty roster for a flight leaving Newark? Your duty roster, yeah. I'll see what I can do. 
Duty roster, all flights out of Newark. Go! Hi. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, worried about a buddy of mine, uh, Captain Claude Pritchard. Claude Pritchard, the pilot. Yeah, he's on the tarmac right now. He's prepared to take off. So, <laughs> he made it okay. What a relief. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, he was in pretty bad shape when I left, and we were out partying all last night and into this morning. We're just party boys. Party boys? Yeah, yeah, it, it was pretty ugly there. For, I tried to take his keys away, but you know how old Claude gets when he's totally hammered. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been asked to return to the gate. Please stay in your seats. We will be underway in just a few moments. Monk, we found her. Female, mid-40s. Just like you said. I already put a call into the Newark PD. They should be picking up our guy as we speak. Monsieur Monk. Is it true this was your first flight? That's right. On peut pas tout prévenir. One cannot prepare for everything. Yeah. Ooh. Excuse me. All right. Tim? All right, I'll talk to you later. So, hi. Um, <laughs> I wanted to give you my number. I'm going to be in town all week. George Clooney just signed on to do the part in that movie. The one I read? They're talking to Scorsese to direct. Oh. He's good. Yeah. Hey, hey, um, can I tell you something? Even if it's a blockbuster and George Clooney wins an Oscar, I'm not gonna go see it. I'm principal. Thank you. Uh, don't forget this. Bye. Isn't he famous? He's some kind of actor. Sharon is helping him with his career. Oh, how exciting! Good to see you. Yeah, so, uh, how's your cat doing? Oh, I love my kids, you know, but I think he's probably dead. It's just not possible. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well I do Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out